Hi, it's Ashley from AB Sound Advice. Today we are doing a product preview on the new Soundstream R, sorry, VR-64HBL. It is a new double-din um, DVD player head unit. It is a 300 watt maximum amp in it, so very grunty. And of course, Soundstream, as you know, has been around for a very, very long time. I've still got one of the original head units that I bought back in the 80s. And uh, this is a fantastic unit. Now, in this part of the world, they're around the 399 mark. And uh, wow, this is going to be a great preview. I really love Soundstream, as you can imagine, being around one of the long standing brands in audio. Um, so let's just quickly, as I always, I just want to go through, have a quick look at the specs on this. It's a 12 volt negative ground system, 4 ohms, 40 RMS by 4, and of course a peak of 300 total. Um, and to be honest with you, uh, anybody looking for something with a lot of grunt, most head units um, that are rated 50 by 4 are really doing about 18. So here we are. It, so that would make it 200, and at 300 we're getting a, a genuine 40 RMS, which is a fairly significant amount of power. So certainly going to be great if you've got some good speakers in your car. Um, that'll sound incredible. It's got front rear RCAs and subwoofer out. Bluetooth built in, uh, built in microphones on the on the front, and also you can, at a, an additional cost, add a external mic if you wish. Remote control, side brackets, and of course there is a, a fascia plate that clips around the unit just there. Comes with owner's manual, which is fully there, and of course the 12 month warranty from Soundstream. And let's get into it. Now of course you can see straight away on the bench it looks fantastic. The remote control is definitely good quality. Soundstream have been around um, American brand, as you can imagine, back in the 80s and over the years have gone by. Um, they're still going strong. Um, what are we talking, nearly 40 years later, so <laughs> um, been around for a long time, so really, really have come a long way. Units have changed a lot. This one here is, as I said, is a full-size double-din unit with a DVD, CD, and of course USB, SD card, 3.5 on the front, um, and if you've got your home button, you just hit the, you can go disc, radio, BT, phone, USB, phone link. And of course, you've got your settings. We can go into EQ, field, display, volume. So really simplistic to operate. And back to the radio. So volume up and down, which you can just use this here. You can see it coming up and down. And of course, over here, you can see the eject button and the USB on the front. The remote control again, as I said, very, very nice. And again, multicolor. You can set this into auto, which will just rotate all different colors, or you can select it to your own color. Now, the most important thing with mechanism units is remembering the top screws here. So they need to be removed. You just see them there. So before you put it in the dash, don't forget to remove the transit screws. They're there to hold the mechanism um, in transit. Once it's been into a point of install, you remove the two screws, and that will free up. So if your CD won't work, um, there's every possibility you've left the transit screws in. So we'll just spin the unit round. So you can see on the back here, you've obviously got the, the plug, which you'll um, wire into your vehicle. And of course here you've got your outputs, um, video, reverse camera, subwoofer out, um, antenna. And of course there is an option to add a microphone if you feel that you need one. Other than that, it will have built-in microphones in the front here. And you can just see the mic is just there. So... Um, really easy to deal with. If you need to reset the unit, there's also a reset button there. You just put a little pin in there or a paper clip, bend it and just poke that and it'll reset the head unit if you ever have a freeze and lock up. And all today's technology, as you know, um, is all like computers, so they do have their occasional little fit. So I think, you know, in all the years I've had these units, you might have to hit the reset button once every few years, so it's not common. You can see the box in the background. I'll just take you to there so you can see they're really well presented. Um, and as I said, got Bluetooth, um, reversing camera, all the main things you need. And in this part of the world, they're around 399 And that's an amazing when you think about what you're getting. Um, it's a whole lot of product. You've got your phone link, Android, Bluetooth connectivity. It's a 6.2 LCD screen. It will do 1080p HD um, video playback. And of course, you know, depending on what region you play. But again, you can burn your own movies and in your own format and play it directly on the unit if you wish. And of course, uh, make sure you're not driving while watching movies, obviously for safety um, reasons. <laughs> 
And if you'd like to find out more information about the new Soundstream VR-64HBL, you can duck onto hifihq.com.au or hifihq.co.nz for New Zealand. And as I said, that really is a fantastic head unit. And if you're um, wanting just a head unit to replace your factory unit, and you've got um, you've just upgraded all your speakers. You won't need an amp. This thing's got well and truly enough power to run four speakers. Just be aware um, these high output units, anything that's uh, above the normally fifty by four, um, in this case um, is um, a really was that nearly seventy five by four. So it's really quite substantially more. So you've got to make sure you've got a very good power source. Um, because it is going to take a lot more. It's any like just adding an amplifier to the car. It's got a built-in amp built into it. Um, just be aware that power and earth will become a lot more important on these type of units where the outputs are high. And it's just something to note if you're having any issues with um, memories and things like that. Um, really important that you've got a good solid earth, uh, good solid power. The accessory is not so important, but the yellow and the um, the black, those two there are very important. Um, and if you're not certain that your cabling in your car is thick enough, I'd run the yellow directly to a power source thicker than maybe two to three, maybe probably three to four mil if you can, or run it out to the battery. So these are just little things that um, observations of being in this for a while. But uh, really, it's a fantastic unit. And uh, if you'd like to uh, get one or get more information about it, just visit those websites. And again, I hope you've enjoyed today's product preview of the new Soundstream VR-64HBL. And also, while I'm thinking of it, it also can do steering wheel control um, is built into the unit. So um, you can also just, um, if you've got steering wheel controls in your vehicle, this unit will be able to adapt to that. And 90% uh, of the time you can use the inbuilt steering wheel modules. Other than that, you may have to have an installer provide you with an additional module, but it's not, um, hopefully in this case, it will be nice and simple. All right, guys, well, I hope you've enjoyed today's preview. And again, I appreciate you supporting AB Sound Advice, and we'll see you next time.